The phase envelope analysis can be performed inside any stream here in the analysis tab by choosing add analysis and you'll see this phase envelope option. So I'm going to click OK and then just solve it the way it is. Let's start by looking at the plot that it generates. So we see here a phase envelope is generated. The red line here represents our bubble point. So on the left we would be 100% liquid and this is where vapor would begin to form. And then the blue line represents our 100% vapor or our dew point line. We can see with the blue cross here that's our actual current operating conditions and the green X up top represents our critical point. This is plotting pressure versus temperature but there are other plotting options as well that you'll see here in this drop down and so those are available to you as well. Let's go back now here to this conditions tab and talk about some of our options here. First off this is by default plotting our total phases their conditions and so in this case we saw we were in the liquid vapor mixture area where we had not a pure liquid or a vapor but were a mixture of the two. You could choose to just focus on one of those two phases if desired. You'll see here a minimum and maximum mole fraction vapor to be presented on that plot. By default it's set to only show the 100% vapor line and then its corresponding 0% vapor line. But if you want to include more quality lines you can change this minimum say I want to show lines between 100 over to 80 percent vapor now Promax will automatically do the corresponding lines of 0 percent and 20 percent vapor as well the number of steps is going to be the steps between 100 percent and 80 percent so if I do two steps that will plot the 100 percent 90 percent and 80 percent lines let's click solve and go look at our plot once again as mentioned we now see a 100 percent vapor 90 percent vapor and 80 percent vapor line and then the corresponding 0 percent 10 percent and 20 percent lines now if I return to the conditions let's talk about a few other options here we have a maximum solids curve pressure and so this is referring to the different solid curves that we can plot over our phase diagram. You'll see here below we have a hydrate curve option, dry ice curve option, and an ice curve as well. I'm going to select the hydrate curve and then what this maximum solids curve pressure will do is that's going to say only plot the hydrate curve up to a certain pressure. And so by default it will go up to the critical pressure but if I say I only want it to go up to 700 pounds I can type that in here the minimum pressures and minimum temperatures relate to how low will allow the phase envelope to go and so if I only want it to go down to a hundred pounds I can type that in or you could type in a particular temperature and these approaches to the critical temperature have to do with the fact that the calculations get very slow and can become unstable around the critical point and so this is kind of a buffer that we've been given but you could adjust those if desired I'm going to click solve and let's, let's look at how that has now affected our plot. If I come over here, give it just a moment. And so we can see here is our hydrate curve points that have been plotted. We can see that we are above those points and it is only plotted up to the 700 pounds that we specified. And now we can see the bottom of our phase envelope has been cut off as well so that it's only going down to the minimum pressure of 100 pounds that we had specified. Now if I return to the conditions, we can see here at the bottom we have some additional properties that have been calculated for us. So the cricondentherm pressure and temperature. What these are is the cricondentherm temperature is the maximum temperature in which we can have a vapor liquid equilibrium occur. And so above 390.9 degrees, it will be impossible for a liquid to form and this cricondentherm pressure is just the corresponding pressure at which this temperature occurs on the phase diagram. The cricondin bar pressure is the maximum pressure at which we can have two phases existing with the cricondin bar temperature being the temperature at that point. I've included a picture here just to illustrate that so you can see here I cricondin bar above that we don't have two phases at any point 
and our cricondin therm where temperature is above that. Once again, no two phases exist. This picture isn't related to the particular stream we're looking at, so you can see in this case the cricondin bar goes through the critical point. But if I return to our plot here, we'll see our cricondin bar would actually be higher than the critical point. Now this information that shows up in our plot also shows up in a tabled information. And so you can see that information here, as well as that hydrate information that we chose to plot as well. And so a lot of information is included in these plots in this table and here on the conditions. And this is what we can find within our phase envelope analysis.